Hello again and welcome back to the lovely Camp Fear in Kuwait for another exciting episode of Not Really Ghost Hunters International, where we're not really ghost hunters, but we are international. I'm your host, Greg Green. That's my camera guy, Josh Belmar. That's enough. And today we'll also be joined by our subject matter expert, David Chain. He'll be giving us a little bit of backstory on our supposed haunting of this bunker you see right here behind me. Welcome back to Not Really Ghost Hunters International, where we're not really ghost hunters, but we are international. I'm here with our subject matter expert for this week's story, David Chain. Now, David, I understand that with these bunkers, from time to time, they'll be reconfigured to protect against the indirect fire. Is that right? That's right, Greg. I understand during one of these uh, reconfigurings, something pretty terrible happened. Is that right? Yes. The story goes, a specialist, nothing was shamming out of a working party. That's um, perfectly understandable. Yes, it is. And he was hiding in one of these bunkers beside us while they were reconfiguring it, and he was tragically crushed. That sounds like a terrible way to go. Obviously, our condolences to Specialist Snuffy's family. But tonight, we're going to explore a possible rumor that uh, Specialist Snuffy's spirit still inhabits this bunker. We also understand that uh, Specialist Snuffy had a certain affinity for pushing buttons and playing with electronic items. Is that correct? That's actually very correct. He would like to turn on, turn on and turn off blue force trackers just for I imagine just about anything with a button on it, huh? Yes, pretty much. Well, tonight we're going to bait a little, uh, not really trap, just a little incentive for Specialist Snuffy to come out and show us that he truly is still here. Alright, now it's that time of the episode where we're going to go in and hopefully be able to explore our site for this week's story. This week, at least I have the luxury of uh, the escort of the subject matter expert. Mr. Chain, let's go ahead and uh, take us on in, show us around here. Uh, I certainly have no trouble whatsoever believing that one of these is uh, perfectly capable of doing what they say happened to Specialist Snuffy. Uh, Mr. Chang, could you show us where it happened at? The story is he was crushed by these two. As he was sunbathing while these were coming down, which is what soldiers in Kuwait do, and he was passed out, was unable to move in time. As I said before, that sounds like a terrible way to meet one's end. From here, on, baby. we're going to set up camp and see if we can't convince Specialist Snuffy to come out and show us that he does exist. Go. All right, so this is the setup we've got here. we got just a uh, flashlight laying here. Like I said, Specialist Snuffy had a uh, affinity for pressing buttons and just kind of turning things on at random. Really, with today's military, it's a wonder he didn't blow himself up before getting crushed by a bunker. But we're going to set this flashlight here and uh, just kind of wait it out and see if we can get Specialist Snuffy to succumb to his desires to push the button. Uh, we've been sitting here for a few minutes now. Kind of seems like uh, the whole Specialist Snuffy story is kind of bogus at this point. Um, you know, rumor was electronic items would turn on at random and, and turn back off when somebody went to inspect them to see what the uh, issue was. Uh, that flashlight's been sitting there for several minutes now. Nothing really happening with it. So I think we're about to uh, about to have to call this one a wrap. Oh, hold on. See that? Mm-hmm. Special snuffy, is that you? walked in. Uh, yeah, I honestly didn't think anything was going to happen with this. So, uh, honestly, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, you know, because like we said before, I don't really believe in ghosts. 
Josh is the one that usually does all the uh, believing for us. This is kind of this. Is kinda, this Josh is the, Mr. Shane? Oh, sorry. Well, I think, uh, like I said before, I think this one's kind of a, a bum rap, anyways. But yeah, we'll take one uh, one last look around, and just kind of see if we can give people an idea why certain individuals might believe this area to be haunted. And uh, yeah, you know, maybe we'll find something interesting. Alright, uh, we're fixing to uh, wrap things up here at Specialist Snuffy's Bunker. Just gonna take another look around, just see if we can give y'all an idea why certain individuals might believe this bunker to be haunted. Doubt we're gonna find anything overly interesting, but yeah, taking a look can't hurt, right? Follow me. Yeah, personally to me, I think it just kind of looks like an old cement bunker. Really nothing special about it. Looks like some uh, wannabe graffiti artists been to work in here, but that's about, about the uh, extent of the seriousness in here. Oh, my God. Oh. oh, what was that? Reeve, you all right? Yeah. Rick. Oh, my God, what happened? Yeah, I'm good. But, all right. And we're going to call that a wrap for this week's episode of uh, Not Really Ghost Hunters International. But we aren't really ghost hunters, but we are international. And we want to thank you, and uh, we hope that you've enjoyed this latest episode of Not Really Ghost Hunters International, where we're not really ghost hunters, but we are international. If you've enjoyed our series so far, we'd appreciate it if you just take a couple of seconds, help us out, hit the like button. If you want to be kept up to date on uh, new, really, new episodes of Not Really Ghost Hunters International, take another second and hit the subscribe button so you receive email updates when a new episode comes out. Thank you.